Now let's move on to monocyte culture. From the title, I guess you could understand that this is the technique to produce only single gender, either male or female, from one culture. The conversion of sex can be achieved from sex reversal hormones and hybridization. In hybridization, techniques, for example, in tilapia culture, where male is favorable due to high production value, interspecific and intraspecific mating would yield all male stock. The combination of Oreochromis mozambicus for female and Oreochromis hornorum for male could produce the desired all males production. However, maintaining pure lines of both species in a long period is somehow difficult. Additionally, production of fries in hybrid female is lower than the pure species. Therefore, producing all male culture by using sex reversal technique is much popular. After the spawning took place, the fries at the age of 18 days, in which the sex haven't been differentiated yet, will be fed diet supplemented with male steroids, that is, 17-alpha methyl testosterone for 20 to 28 days. If everything going fine, the female will then develop into functional male following the hormone treatments. This hormone techniques has also been successfully applied to other species including rainbow trout, goldfish, zebrafish, and grass carp. Although hormone treatments is efficient, it could also pose environmental threat due to uncontrolled discharge of the resulting wastewater.